The Talent Factory, Ferrari Driver Academy. Discovering and nurturing future Formula One star is the purpose of the Ferrari Driver Academy. Plucked from around the world, this previous year, its young racers brought home a European title, podium finishes, and plenty of promise for the future. In previous years, the likes of Sergio Perez, Lance Stroll, and Charles Leclerc have made it to Formula One after an upbringing in the Ferrari Driver Academy. They have went on to cement their place in Formula One and a lot of this is the Driver Academy's achievement. With Sergio Perez delivering his best season after 12 seasons in the sport, placing third in the Drivers' Championship, and Charles Leclerc delivering an astonishing runner-up placement in the 2022 Drivers' Championship. But how is the talent factory actually finding, building, and preparing their drivers for the task ahead? Let's have a closer look and find out. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Formula One. Going into the 2023 season, there are eight drivers that will be in the Ferrari Driver Academy, and those will consist of Arthur Leclerc and Oliver Behrman will continue with Ferrari's junior program as they will make their official Formula 2 debuts. Next on the list is Dino Beganovic, who will race in the Formula 3, Rafael Kamara and Maya Wu, who will be racing in the European Formula Regional and James Wharton driving in Formula 4. The same goes for the World Finals winner Tuka Toponen and the 2022 FIA Girls on Track Rising Star winner Aurela Nobles will be facing off in the Formula 4 as well. With that out of the way, let's talk about one of the hottest young talents in the game, Dino Beganovic. Now, Dino was turning heads all season long and ultimately ended up winning the European Formula Regional Championship. That's right, he's done it with style, with four wins and seven podium finishes under his belt. In 2023, Dino will be driving in Formula 3 under Prima and will be looking to continue his stellar driving. But what's the secret to his success? Well, according to his team at the Ferrari Driver Academy, it's all down to hard work and dedication. They've been putting in the hours in the gym and the garage, and it's really paid off for Dino. And it's not just Dino who's been making waves this past season. The Ferrari Driver Academy has a whole team of young drivers, and they're all looking pretty darn good. We've got James Wharton, the 16-year-old Aussie who showed a steady performance in the F4 Italy Championship, and Rafael Camara, the 17-year-old Brazilian who's taken home third place in the same championship as well as being named Best Rookie in Germany. And let's not forget about Robert Schwartzman, the Israeli driver who's been getting some valuable experience as an official test driver at the Austin and Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Arthur Leclerc had a challenging second season in F3 due to various competition red flag setbacks and accidents. However, he demonstrated his racing skills and speed by pulling off some great comeback performances, featuring some aggressive overtaking. Oliver Behrman, the 17-year-old British driver, won a noteworthy third place in F3, demonstrating his progress from his previous seasons in F4 Italy and F4 Germany. Both Leclerc and Behrman will move up to the F2 category in the next season. How Ferrari is preparing its future F1 stars An inspirational yet historic comment from Enzo Ferrari is that I love to think that Ferrari can make drivers as well as cars. He was always thinking outside the box and surprising people with powerful engines and would also take that approach with the drivers. The academy is truly for the sport, where they study everything from the history of the team to the strict rules that are implemented in the world of Formula One, finishing off with something that can look like a final exam. For a whole week, the young drivers are put through their paces, both physically and mentally, as they prepare for the upcoming season of racing. And at the heart of this training camp is the F1 simulator, which provides a realistic and challenging experience for the drivers. But perhaps the highlight of the week was the F1 simulator, which took pride of place in the main hall. With the front end of the Ferrari F2004 adding a bit of authenticity, the simulator was rarely left alone. By the end of the week, the youngsters have to concede to experience, with Giancarlo Fisichella's lap of 124.815s around Monza proving to be unbeaten. 
His performance behind the wheel proved to be as good as the advice he was able to offer the new kids. The week-long get-together, organized by the program's manager Massimo Rivola, goes far beyond just a physical training camp. It's more about reflecting on the wider vision of the Ferrari Driver Academy. At the root of it, there's a very clear concept because supporting and financing a young person in the path of growth towards Formula One has a considerable cost. So before racing helmets and overalls can be put on, something is demanded in return. A spirit of sacrifice, margins of learning, character aspects, reactions to group living or defeat, and many other aspects that can be observed even outside a circuit. Being in the mountains in a new context and far away from one's own home creates a new situation for our boys explains Rivola. It is normal for athletes to try only the activities in which they do well, but here everyone has to take part in the same program. The goal is to stimulate competition, evaluating the reactions to success and defeat. In motor racing, it's often said that your first rival is your teammate, and in the Ferrari Driver Academy, that's the case too. Living with your opponent is a crucial step for a future professional, and in the case of Finipaldi and Petikoff, the comparison began in sharing the hotel room. It's the first step of what will be a life together with Prima in F4 this year. Rivola adds, the competition creates stress and the comparisons that begin in these three weeks of activities help them learn how to handle this. The approach to training in competitions that can be done in the gym or with skis says a lot about a driver. When Leclerc arrived, he charged into every confrontation, but then often paid the price for that initial effort, which was collecting less than expected. We have done a good job with him. Being a coach or mental trainer like this puts you in a role very similar to that of a track engineer, who on paper would be exclusively technical, but actually needs to understand important psychological aspects. So there you have it, folks. The Ferrari Driver Academy is looking pretty darn good right now. They've got a whole team of talented young drivers, and they're all working hard to achieve their dreams. And with Dino Beganovic leading the charge, the future looks very bright indeed. How do you think Dino Beganovic and Arthur Leclerc will do in Formula 3 and Formula 2 this upcoming season? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.